Hello and welcome to Sorted Food. Today's going to be a very good day. We've teamed up with Visit Florida to challenge our two normal home cooks, Jamie and Barry, to see if they can beat our chef, Ben, in the ultimate key lime pie battle. When someone told me we were teaming up with Visit Florida, I expected a slightly different location. Hence the shirt. Yeah, you well, dressed yeah. for that occasion. <laughs> Now, not only is Ben a trained chef, but he's already been to Florida. A few years back, he took a tour of Key West, trying out some of the finest key lime pies, as recommended by you, the community. And ever since, he's been referring to himself as the key lime connoisseur. Hang on a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but it is those memories that I'm using to construct my dish today. Jay, Baz, how on earth are you going to beat him? Don't worry about us, Mike. We've got over 500 comments from the sorted community giving us all of their top tips. We've even got an executive pastry chef from Florida. And, well, I've got Barry. Come, come on, this is a team thing. Well, you know, there's pros and cons. Scared, Ben? Forget limes. I'll leave these two like a pair of lemons. <laughs> oh, right, let's crack on <laughs> in three, two, one, battle. Right. Guys, what we're looking for is the perfect balance between tart and sweet. We're looking for multiple differentiated textures. And this has got to be light, refreshing, but also indulgent. My dish is gonna be like a celebratory Floridian dessert with key lime pie as the center point. And to start that, I need a biscuit base. I'm gonna use biscuits, pecans, and browned butter. Now, on top of the hundreds of recommendations from you guys, we also reached out to a Floridian executive pastry chef whose favourite dish is a key lime pie. Carissa solved everything for us. She explained all. Hey. Hey, hey. Carissa, how you doing? Okay, so we need some serious help when it comes to key lime pie. What does the iconic key lime pie look like? The key lime pie is super simple. There's 70% filling. So you have key lime juice, which has to be actual key lime juice. We have uh, condensed milk and uh, egg yolks, 20% crust. The crust it has to have graham crackers. You don't want a crumbly crust. You want a crunchy crust. Like if you squeeze it with your hand mm -hmm. and it doesn't stay, add more butter and 10% whipped cream. Okay. Okay. All right. That's cool. That adds very, up to 100, mate. Cool. Thanks, cool. mate. It's cool. very specific. I've never had a key lime before. What's so different about that to a normal lime? It's the difference between a regular lime and a key lime is that tartness, and it's beautiful. Like, are there any like key skills that we should like we have to apply? Oh, I call it the wiggle jiggle. Smack that side of that pie, and if it still jiggles, it ain't ready yet. We'll do the jiggle test. We'll do the nice. wiggle jiggle. That nice. sounds good. Nice. nice. You gotta do the jiggle <laughs> test. Okay. Everything that we do, we've just got to beat Ben. So have you got any other final mm -hmm. tips? Love. Believe it or not, okay. take your time and put your heart into it and your taste buds are going to love it. So for our key lime pie, we want to go as traditional as we possibly can from our studio in London. We need to use graham crackers, but they're really, really challenging to find here in the UK. Really challenging. But we were always up for a challenge. And oh. we found these bad boys. Oh. Oh. Eat that, chef! Ah, Valid. But what I wanted was a salty, oaty, crispy, golden base, and I've pimped mine with brown butter and pecans, because in the north of Florida, there's some wonderful pecans. And digestive biscuits? Well, no. Right. In East London, <laughs> digestive biscuits, and a touch of Florida of pecans. We're going to blitz up our graham crackers in a food processor, add sugar, melted butter, some vanilla extract, a little bit of salt. Are there any badges at stake in this? I mean, I can't award badges because I'm on the side here and I'm in the competition with you. Well, we said the badges break down into technique, creativity and organisation. And sometimes organisation is in your pre-prep and your planning and your research. So if you can bring that to the game and make yours a traditional offering, then there is a badge up for grabs. It's still got to taste good, though. Yeah, Remember yeah, that. You can't just that. say, oh, it, uh, we knew what we were doing, but we can't execute it. Come on, is, is We've got this. So as the only remaining member of the team who's actually eaten a key lime pie in Florida, I'm going to be judging this. I am going to be using the criteria from the experts and you guys and the food team to do so. The guy that could barely boil an egg two weeks ago is judging a key lime pie battle. Perfect. That's on the money, that is. There's enough butter. Carissa, there's enough butter. Rather than serve a slice of key lime pie, I'm going to serve it as a dessert with the base in the bottom and then the set element and then all the extra garnish. Now, key limes are really, really tricky to get hold of in the UK, but we 
are such a good team that we have got key limes. Aren't these from Egypt? These are from Egypt. We are able to get hold of Egyptian key limes, but they are still key yeah. limes, which is a different breed of lime to lime. What are you using, Ibis? Well, the key to this dish is key limes. Is to get the Graham citrus, crackers. the tang, the floral note you get from key limes. Yeah. I'm going to do that without key limes by making a key lime style panna cotta. So the natural yogurt is going to give it a tang. I'm going to finish it with floral later. Lots of zest, set with gelatin, and that's going on top of my pecan biscuit. Did you see anywhere in the comments saying the main part of the key lime pie is a panna cotta? It sounds like you're going to a lot of effort not to use key limes or graham crackers. We could both have made a traditional key lime pie, but I figured you guys have got that nailed. What I want to do is a celebration of my time in Florida key lime pie elements throughout, but also a nod to all the other wonderful things that I experienced when I was there. Fine, let's get cracking then. This is going to freeze for 20 minutes to cool and set up, and then I'll bake it for 10 minutes. Caramelised pecans, egg white, bit of water, some sugar, whisked up, toss the nuts through it, strain off the excess, and they go into an oven about 170 until they're crispy, golden, and delicious. We need about one cup or 240 millilitres of key lime juice. So how because these limes are a little bit smaller than normal yeah, limes. Just so. small and all the zest. So I think it's quite a lot of limes to to get through, but I can't work out how many. But you're only weighing the juice, right? Yeah I know, but it gives you an idea like I think you'll get about five mil out Put that, that back. You're kidding me. That's not even gone up a gram. We're gonna need to set up a conveyor belt. Because we also need to zest Zestimal. those limes. Oh, bit. Okay. And uh, let me tell you, we need. It's easier to zest them before you juice them. Just yeah, saying. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Shut, Shut up, up Emma's. <laughs> you want something that's really tart and tangy, but also has that sweetness. So all of the limes that I zested, I've now juiced, whisked in a bit of sugar, and I'm going to freeze it. And as it freezes, kind of whisk and scratch it up with a fork to end up with the most tangy, delicious lime granita. I'm quite excited to see what Ebers is going to come up with. So the mojito is muddling a couple of limes, add in brown sugar, mint, white rum, and then I'm going to strain it off, and I'm going to use that to macerate cubes of dragon fruit. What are you doing? Right, do you like mojitos? Yes, I do. I can, I can always add a bit more extra in for you as well, if you want. Include ba everyone, ba a bit of love, share ba it. Barry, 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 Barry! What are you doing? He squeezed this one line, they can't be doing got this. bored and got a machine out. They can't be doing this in Florida. They can't be doing it one by one, can they? They've got to be a quick way. Here you go, Mike. Oh, Ebers, I love you. I'm up mm. to 63 millilitres, oh. including pips. Ebers, we've got to address the elephant in the room. You're not using key limes. You're not using graham crackers. How on earth are you justifying the brief in your dish? What I want to do is create the journey that I took down Florida. So I'm even going to try and create the kind of the bay and the sweep of Florida down the Keys. I'm going to take all the flavours and textures of key lime pie, but then also throw in inspirations from the other people and places I visited. Mango groves, an organic edible flower farm, pitayas on the side of the road, mojito, pecans. It's all going to come together into a dish that will look as stunning as Florida and taste like key lime pie. Now that sounds amazing. Will he be able to deliver it? I'm intrigued. Is that, is that <laughs> How tart is that? <laughs> Dragon fruit or pitaya, it does look stunning outside and in. But it's a bit mmm, which is why I'm soaking it in the mojito. OK, so bearing in mind, now you're going to have the bitterness of the pith included in 50% of that juice. How are you going to supplement that balance? How are you going to supplement that with additional sweetness? With two tins of condensed milk. I've sealed in all the goodness. And the other great thing about my recipe is it's kind of all make ahead. The panna cotta sets, the biscuit base, you can prep this, the granitas in the freezer. I'm now going to make a mango foam for that final wow. Carissa said there were three really important parts of filling. Key lime juice, egg yolks, and some condensed milk. You are there. These are harder <laughs> to open than those limes. <laughs> Florida ruined mangoes for me. It was the most phenomenal mango I've ever had, and I've never had one better. So I've used tinned mango pulp 
because they're tinned when they are the freshest, the most ripe, absolutely perfect. I'm now blending in xanthan gum to thicken it, then I will charge it with a siphon gun to create a foam. He thought limes were hard to squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ebers, as a chef, what was your view on the culinary sort of food scene in Florida? I wasn't actually there that long, but I loved Miami, a really cool food scene. There were some great Cuban influences in Little Havana. I loved more the produce and how fresh and tropical it all was. All the fresh fruits, the agua fresca were so amazing. Lots of seafood all the way down the coast. I had conch for the first time. And one spectacular memory was when I went to an organic edible flower farm and Gabrielle showed me around and we just walked around and we just picked colourful things and ate them and the flavours we got from these flowers was incredible. So I want a little nod to that on my dish. I'm going to finish it with some nice edible flowers. Look, I know Ebers has been giving it the big one with... I've been to Florida. He's bringing a lot of added value. I have to, I have to stand by him. Well, the thing is, we've done our research as well, mm. OK? Mm. <laughs> Great. Can't wait for this. Mike, did you know that over one and a half million acres, the Florida Everglades are actually the largest subtropical wilderness in the whole of the United States? Florida is also the boating and fishing capital of the world. And no wonder there's over 900 world fishing records. It's also worth pointing out that Greater Miami is the oh, only yeah. metropolitan area within America that has two, two national parks. I mean, you've done some Googling, but what is impressive is you've done some memorising as well. So I'm actually genuinely quite impressed with that. So we're going to pop that into an oven, 20 to 22 minutes. We can stick a temperature probe in it. Oh. 70 degrees Celsius internal temperature. That's how we know it's going to be done. Oh, All right. okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. 74. It's definitely done. It's got a lovely little jiggle that will hopefully disappear once it's cooled down. So I couldn't get hold of fresh clitoria flowers, so instead I've got the powdered form. It's also called butterfly pea. I'm dissolving some in a sugar syrup to give us wonderful blue turquoisey colour that will change pink with acid. Final bit of our pie is the topping. We're going for whipped cream. It's exactly what the community said. It's exactly what Carissa said that we had to do. We're gonna smear it over the top so we get our 20, 70, 10. Two minutes remaining. I've got the mango puree in here. I now need to charge it with nitrous oxide. Under pressure. Baz, remember the love. Lovely, mango foam. 60 seconds left. Get it on, get it on. I thought, what the hell is that? And he's not making a key lime pie, there's that, oh, I know that much. Talking of crunch time, I'm adding the texture, which we know is so important for key lime pie. Are you just smoothing it over like a driveway? 20 seconds remaining. Where's the zester? Last few bits of flour. Go, 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 go. Just what are you doing with that? Water. Five. A celebration Four. for Florida. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Step away from the pie. I've spaffed it. Excellent job. Excellent job. Wow. Can't wow. wait to eat that. So what this is is a pecan and biscuit buttery base with a lime yogurt panna cotta. And then on top, the shape of the Florida state around the bay towards Key West, we've got caramelized pecans, dragon fruit macerated in mojito. We've got a mango foam, a lime granita, and some edible flowers. Is it a key lime pie? It's got a biscuit <laughs> base and a creamy tangy, you tell me. Cheers. 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 That is zinging. Greed gives you the wah, that a key lime pie should do. If you don't look at it, even though it looks beautiful, and eat it, you could tell me that that was a variation on a key lime pie. Yeah. Annoyingly for you both. Mm. It really, really is delicious. Damn! <laughs> Let's move on to this one. Well, regardless of the taste and who wins the battle, I like the fact they came armed with the knowledge and the insight, hundreds of comments, expertise, having sourced the ingredients. That alone is deserved 
of a research badge. Oh, right. I thought he's oh, just like that. Amazing. Amazing. Just right, like well, that. Thank you very much. Straight right. off the bat. I wanted to try and make them work for it, Ebers, <laughs> but you've just, you just badged him. Yeah. We could not have made this without all of the help that we got from the community and from Carissa. Hello. I reckon you've got 30% base, 55 Five. middle and 15. Mm. It looks brilliant. Cheers. That is really, really good. That tartness is what makes that so special. But I can see Carissa's point about the graham cracker base as well. That is a base. That is a key lime pie base. That is so different from using digestive biscuits. Mm -hmm. Okay, so judging criteria, apart from maybe a tiny bit of the ratios being out, you know, I think that's pretty much bang on. I'm genuinely taken aback. Well played. Ebers, what a dish. It tasted fantastic. I think the story was lovely. Shoehorned a few. Shoehorned, but cool. Like the brief, <laughs> like the execution. So our chef Kush said, that is like eating a cloud from the food team. It hit all of the judging criteria that was outlined at the beginning. And for a key lime pie in East London, which is something we keep coming back to, it's outstanding and therefore that's going to win the battle today. We've done it! We beat the chef! We're taking him down! With that in mind, uh, it's fantastic. And it only makes me think, how good is one of those going to taste actually in actual Florida? Well, I think we're all in agreement here in the studio, but what do you think? Comment down below, who would have taken your win today? And a massive thank you to Visit Florida for making all of this happen. I suppose the next step is that we should be traveling to Florida when it's safe to do so and I'll testing the key lime pie for real. Uh, if you'd like to see that happen, give the video a like and we'll see what we can do. What did he say? He said, I was driving through Florida and I saw a mango farm. <laughs> and I thought, I want to go farm too. <laughs> Thank you. I need it. There it is. I need it. Thank you. <laughs>